Hello, welcome to a presentation of putting the words on social media, infrastructuring online Islamic counterpublic through digital sermons in Bangladesh. My name is Mohammad Rashid Zaman Rifat. This work is a collaboration with Hassan Mohammad Prottoy and Swed Ishtiak Ahmed. The was is a kind of Islamic sermon event popular among many Bangladeshi Muslims. It is usually an outdoor event where Islamic preachers deliver their speeches. As digital devices have become widely available and internet infrastructure has improved in Bangladesh, many grassroots content creators have established businesses based on the summon videos. The content creators create the videos and upload them on social media and video sharing platforms in a large scale. A huge number of viewership of those videos brings revenues for content creators. On the other hand, the videos are becoming popular among Bangladeshi Muslims. As many people follow the Islamic preachers in Bangladesh, the influence of the preachers are creating political, moral, legal, and social influences. The ACI literature often reports the infrastructure and politics of grassroots movements and their implications for computing technologies. However, studies examining the grassroots politics in ACI are primarily focused on Western secular political changes and cannot capture various forms of religious and social movements around the world. Outside of the secular world, religious communities in the global south often organize movements at the grassroots level. Such religious movements are not organized for political or economic confrontations. Rather, many of them are organized for moral imperatives and social reforms. We inform such an organically grown religious, moral, and political grassroots movements, which is organized through the creation and dissemination of online sermon videos. Next, we turn our attention to social sciences, design, and media studies literature to understand the interplay among pervasive media sharing, religion, morality, and politics. We do so by explaining the notion of the public and the creation of a public forum through the, through the dissemination and consumption of sound videos. The current notion of public in ACA heavily draws from John Dewey. This notion marginalizes the religious public from the modern democratic public sphere. As a result, ACA has a dearth of knowledge about, about religious public and their politics. We fill this gap by discussing the formation of religious public and their implications for ACI. Altogether, we make three research contributions to ACI. First, we present five aspects of faith-based infrastructure. Faith, informal learning, collaboration and negotiation, creativity, arts and skills, and maintenance, fixing, and care. Second, building on the anthropology of sensual reason, we contribute to a better understanding of the intersection of ACI and politics. We show how Islamic sermon media engages Muslims in online and offline conversations and creates a political and moral counterpublic. We further discuss the politics of social media platforms unfolded through Islamic media sharing practices. Third, we contribute to ACI, ACA for D, and international development by explaining how Islamic media sharing increases the adoption of computing technologies and digital literacy among Islamic faith-based communities to make ACA more inclusive of religious communities. Further, we note a transition of the global South population from passive users to producers of digital content and draw ACI's attention to to this emerging trend. We conducted this study in Dhaka and Tongi, two Bangladeshi cities. The study started in October 2019 and ended in June 2020. We did semi-structured interviews, observation, contextual inquiries, co-creation of sound videos, photography, and videography. I'll start the findings by briefly talking about the ecology of creating and sharing sermon videos. The processes of creating the videos starts from the collaboration among content creators, sermon organizers, and the preachers. The content creators videotape the sermons and edit the videos to upload to YouTube, Facebook, and other social media outlets. There is also a parallel market offline to sell the videos from the video selling cards. People watch the videos either online or load their micro SD cards from video selling shops in a regular interval. We have found that the consumptions of the salmon videos are higher than other forms of entertainment medias uh, because of people's religious devotion. The easy, the easy accessibility of sound videos and the availability of, of sound videos in Bang Bengali language. As there's a huge demand of sound videos, the Islamic content creators have created a faith-based infrastructure to efficiently make and share the videos. Faith, faith-based networks, and divine motivations are the primary factors that create and sustain the digital sermon media ecology. The Islamic media firms and amateur content creators go through a series of learning processes related to apprenticeship, mimicking, trial and error, and other forms of experiential learning. The infrastructure involves a diverse set of collaboration, negotiation, prioritization, and decision-making processes among the preachers, organizing committee members, media firms, and amateur content creators. The content creators learn various acti 
creative arts and skills in recording, preparing, and uploading sound videos on appropriate platforms. Some high-level fixing and maintenance activities are very essential features of this faith-based infrastructure. Now, how does this study contribute to the CHI community? First, our study makes a contribution to the intersection of ACI and infrastructuring by explicating the process of creating the faith-based infrastructure for digital content creator creation. In ACI, faith has not yet been strongly considered as an important factor in infrastructuring. We demonstrate that faith and its associated practices are vital components of the sort of infrastructure we present in this paper. We argue that taking faith seriously will equip ACI researchers with tools and techniques to effectively engage with faith-based communities online. Second, we show how faith-based infrastructure imposes some unique challenges at the policy level for global technology platforms, such as YouTube. Global technology platform often design universal policies. Our study shows that universal platform politics pose unique challenges and barriers for faith-based infrastructuring. The faith-based infrastructure creates a new avenue for ACI to weigh the universal platform politics and revisit them to include practices related to local norms, which involve faith-based values. Third, we discuss how people at the grassroots create online, uh, online religious public through faith-based infrastructuring. The findings from our ethnography and the insights drawn from the anthropology of sensual reason show how the grassroots Islamic content creators are facilitating sound videos to create an imagined community. The online sermons are inspiring small talks, discussion, and debate about quotidian lifestyle, habits, thoughts, peace, hope, or public policies, in short, whatever a citizen in a modern public sphere possibly discusses. Such interactions often result in constituting alternative community norms, techniques, and standards leading to creating the Islamic counterpublic. Finally, we demonstrate how Islamic digital media embodies a pious disposition and increases the adoption of computing technologies and digital literacy in a historically hard to reach faith-based community in the global south. This informs a CFOD community about the shift of religious community from technology aversion to adoption. We further argue that global South population are transitioning from the passive user to the producer of digital media. Such a trend indicates that the global South population are progressing as consumers of digital technologies. However, we also report a lack of resources for them to fully engage in digital content creation. We hope that the future works in ACFOD and ICTD will address the challenges of digital content creation by marginalized communities in Global South. Thank you for watching the video. Please read more about this research from the paper uh, following the link provided here. Thank you.